Hey there guys, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. In this episode, this is part two. The first part was in regards to the sites that I go to to find used backpacking gear and so on. This part is all about sites where you go to, where I go to for new items. So I'm going to be discussing with you all some of my favorite sites that I personally go to and shop at. Again, I have no affiliation with them. If you buy something from them, great. If you don't, great. I get no kickback. I don't really care if you buy from them or not. I am simply discussing with you all where I go to and really the sites that I use, the sites that I look at, and we will even talk about the sites that I don't go to. Here with the Outdoor Gear Review, I am 100% agenda free. I have no store, I don't do kickbacks from other companies, I have no affiliates, nothing like that. I simply pass on the information to you all. I'm supported fully by the views from those who want to donate to Patreon, and that is it. With that being said, let's take a look at some of my favorite sites that I shop at. Guys, if the screen is flickering a little bit, it might be the LED light that I'm using. LEDs, they flicker. So I, re I really don't film inside that much, so I'm not really set up for it. But for the sake of this video, it will do just fine. So the first site that we are going to is sierratradingpost.com. Now, this used to be one of my favorite sites. This one is just okay now. It was purchased by the same company that owns like TJ Maxx or something like that. And the sales, the deals that you could get really have fallen off. You used to be able to find awesome deals on here and you could find coupon codes for like 40, 45% off your order. I mean, it was so good back in the day and now it's just okay. But you can still find some good deals on here. You just simply have to look around and really search. Let's see what they got as far as like first aid kits. So let's take a look at this one here. This is the Adventures Medical Trail Hiker Kit. Let's see what we can get that for on Amazon. Yeah, okay, so this is a good example of how you can save a little bit of money here. On Amazon, this is 21 bucks. Here on Sierra Trading Post, you can get this for $15. So you can save five bucks. Five bucks is five bucks in my opinion. It's well worth it. Now, of course, you do have to worry about shipping and whatnot, but generally you can find free shipping coupons for Sierra Trading Post, and that's about it when it comes to the coupons. Let's take a look here at this tent. This is the Marmot Crane tent, three person. Let's see if we could find this on Amazon. Three person, let's see what we can get it for. So this is 160 on Amazon, and on Sierra Trading Post, it's 150, so you save 10 bucks. Let's check out the Kelty real quick. Two person tent, 190 on Amazon. You can find this on here for 129. So you can see how you can save some money by going to this site. It's a real shame that this site isn't as good as it used to be because man, you guys, I used to walk off of this site with some awesome gear for some incredibly low prices. All right, everybody, let's go to another site. This one is called steepandcheap.com. This is by the same company that does backcountry.com. Yeah, we got Columbia stuff, black diamond gear, backpacks. Let's Take a look and see what we can find. They have all sorts of different packs from all sorts of different companies. Here's a North Face pack, 65 liter for 116, brand new, pretty good deal. Usually those run about 180, we saw that with the uh, used episode. Let's take a look at Granite Gear and see what they're offering on here and how good these prices are. Actually, guys, this, the sales on here are actually really, really good. I mean, here's a Granite Gear Crown VC 60 liter pack for 80 bucks, retail price is $200. So let's take a look real quick to confirm that. Yeah, retail price, 200 bucks. You can get it for $80. As mentioned before, folks, you could go out there and you could find these good deals. Everybody can. And that is what I recommend. As mentioned before, it's better that you go out and find a good deal, buy used, get a good product by a company that you can trust and a company that you can rely on. Let's take Osprey for an example. You could go out, you could purchase one of their packs used. Let's say you get a hole in it because you were too rough on the pack. It's your fault. You tore a hole in it. Osprey will fix that pack even though you're the one who tore a hole in it and even though you bought it used. How about that? Guys, you do not have to run around with cheap garbage. You don't have to order from sites like AliExpress and stuff like that. I'm not saying you can't find good products on there, but for the most part, you won't. If you buy cheap, you're getting cheap 99% of the time. If you could buy a good piece of gear that's maybe used or it's on sale from a good company, you're getting that warranty to back it up, you're going to be so much better off. You really are. That is a fantastic deal on that backpack. Let's see what else they got on here. You guys want to? Let's take a look at 
Osprey. We talked about Osprey. Let's take a look at them real quick. What do we got here? So let's take a look here at the Osprey Volt 60 liter pack. I'm not familiar with that pack, actually. You can get 179. On this site, you can get it for 120, basically. I mean, that is an awesome, awesome deal. And that goes to show you, again, that the good deals are out there. You simply have to know where to look. And hopefully with this series here, you guys are getting that information. Steep and Cheap is pretty great. They cover every brand you can think of, and oftentimes you can find some insane deals. I have to admit that I really do like Backcountry.com. Again, not affiliated with them at all, but they've always served me very well. So the next site that we have here is Vernostalica.com. This site is awesome, but I will go ahead and warn you, this is not for those who are really sensitive. If everything in your life has to be politically correct, this is not the site for you. There is some obscene stuff here. Some of it could be offensive to some people. Personally, I find it very funny. So if you're delicate, don't go to this site. S stick with the others. Don't go to this one because they do have a sense of humor. Now with this site here, this place is great for tactical gear, military surplus, uh, bushcraft gear, and so on. Again, no affiliation with them. I don't care if you buy anything. It doesn't benefit me at all. But they have some really cool stuff. When you come to this site, make sure to go up here to the right hand corner and make sure it's in English and select the country that you are having your product shipped to. Let's see, where's the United States? There you go. That will change the pricing over to USD so you can see how much it will actually cost you so it's not in euros or anything weird. These guys make some of the best knives out there, some of my favorites. This bad boy right here is simply awesome. This is a fantastic knife. You guys have seen my reviews on this before. I mean, it is well worth the price. So you can take a look here at this Transgia set, 55 bucks. Transgia sets are not the cheapest in the United States. On Amazon, $102. On this site, you can pick it up for, what was the price on this? 55 bucks. Shipping to the United States is 10 bucks, guys. Now again, folks, with that site, it can be very much adult. And oftentimes the descriptions could be very, very uh, sharp. We'll just say sharp for a lack of a better term. I mean, there was one listing talking about going on a date with this woman. I don't even remember how it tied into the product. It seemed like it was like a backpack description, but it went on and on. I thought it was funny. It would probably offend some people, <laughs> but, but that's how it goes, right? That's how it goes. Okay, so next up, let's check out Scandinavian outdoor.com this is another one of those sites which offers you those hard to find items here in the united states the shipping here is fantastic make sure when you come here that it, the language is in english that you set the pricing over to usd if you're in the united states so you can get of course the pricing in dollars now this site is going to give you access to all sorts of products which are really really hard to find here in the united states this site will actually show you products which are made by companies in the United States for outside of the United States that you can't find in the United States. Did you follow that? Check this out. Here is a tent from Marmot that you cannot find in the United States. This is a traditional tunnel tent made by Marmot. I've never seen this in the United States. You cannot find anything about this on their website, but this is made by Marmot. And as you can see there, this looks just like a Gila Bird tent, just like a Fjall Raven tent. This of course is not as strong and it's not meant to be. This is a three season tunnel tent. Tunnel tents are not super popular in the United States. That is why it's not offered here. So with that being said, with this site here, this definitely gives you the options to find some products which you may have been interested in, but you can't find in the United States. I've had no issues when it comes to shipping with this site. I think everything comes DHL very quick. This seems like it might take a week or two, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Then of course you have the big companies such as backcountry.com, Moose Jaw, Camp Moore, Amazon. I purchased from all of those. I've had good experiences with all of them. I do not personally purchase from REI and that's because they have taken a stance against the second amendment and I will not support that company because of it. You can, it doesn't matter to me, do what you want to. But for myself, I'm not going to support them. And additionally, I have found that their pricing tends to be very high, especially in store. I've only been to one REI and I was blown away at how expensive everything was marked up in their store. I was there with my wife and some friends of ours, first time we've ever been in one and we were all just shocked, really. Especially when you can pull up on your phone the prices at other websites and so on. 
everything in REI just tends to be very expensive. With all of the sites that I've shown you all, I have personally had really, really good results from, no issues. Of course, it's all about the details. Pay attention, make sure to search for coupons. If you're going to buy used, make sure to really, really pay attention. That's the most important thing. Pay attention, make sure the quality is good, ask any questions, and try to get a better deal. Again, folks, try to get a better deal if you can. When you're buying new products, it's all about finding the coupons, getting free shipping, and so on. Coupons are out there, they come out all the time. You don't have to buy today, you can save up, you can wait for a good coupon. That's what I typically do. So guys and gals, that's pretty much it. That's how I go about purchasing brand new gear, used gear, and so on. Those are the sites that I go to. I've shown you all how you, how you can go out looking for new gear, and even used gear, and save a ton of money because you can. You do not have to buy brand new, super expensive gear to go out into the backcountry. You can have these amazing adventures and you can do so on a budget and you don't have to buy garbage that is going to get you killed. You do not have to sacrifice your safety to go backpacking because you have a tight budget. I have a tight budget. You guys probably have a tight budget. That's how it goes. But if you're smart, you're wise, you look, Oh yeah, you can find those good deals. Everybody, make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about this series, about this video, the sites that you go to, the sites that you don't go to, and so on. I do appreciate it. Until next time, everyone, strength and honor. I will see you guys around. Coffee time. Cheers.